Good morning guys. From the Maldives, I think it's about time after all this buffet food, I finally got myself into the gym. I've been saying it every day since we've been at the Cinnamon Resorts, but I've finally done it and I love the fact that the gyms here are fully equipped. Normally stay at a hotel or resort. There'll be a few dumbbells here. You can get a full comprehensive workout in. I think you can tell from my breathing, the beers have done me no good at all. Yeah, I'm still drinking these bits. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Yes, done, that is me. Set up for the day. I should have been doing this every morning. I promise once I get to the local islands, I will attempt to at least go for a run once every let's say three days because I'm, I'm not doing it daily there's absolutely no chance um but great gym like i say fully equipped and it's nice to be back in the gym in the uk we've been in lockdown for so long and the gyms have been closed and home workouts just just aren't the same so it's great to be back in the gym fully functional gym i must add and the workers are really really nice everything is secure wash your hands as soon as you come out towel as soon as you go in and leave, temperature taken. That is me set up for the day. Not sure about Molly, I'm the one that's exercised this morning. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna do some snorkeling around the reef of the island today. And hopefully a little excursion later on this afternoon. Whilst Matt was pumping himself up at the gym, I have been sat here on our beach balcony, getting some work done. And I think I'm ready to do a bit of relaxing. Actually here at Elidu they have a dive centre because here is I believe the ninth best reef which is absolutely insane so it's one of the best diving spots that you can get. Obviously we don't have our paddy so the next best thing is to snorkel. We're going to borrow some snorkeling gear and get out just past the wall that is to protect the coral. Oh you've been busy while I've been at the gym. I have been very busy. Thank are you ready? You. Yeah I'm so excited. Look at these, these are colour coordinated. Look flippers and goggles. Love it. So the great thing about this island is that it basically sits on a coral reef and you can go 360 degrees the whole way around the island and follow the coral. You just head out of the sea wall and it is quite a strong current I think. So Molly will be getting a life jacket but if feeding the fish last night is anything to go by there is going to be all sorts of marine life. You look ready. I think Everyone's going to help you. Like Especially if the current's strong. Look at this. This life jacket's a bit funny. Give us a whistle. <laughs> Come on. We are going to head out behind the sea wall now. Well, <laughs> Molly, <laughs> who's really well dressed for the occasion, is sort of ready. Um, and then I think we just float. It's quite a strong current, so we can just float and see what's going on. Wow, by the state of me, you can see that I had some fun in the sea. It was so, so, so rough. The current is really, really strong at the minute. So um, it was a little bit more difficult for me, but the drop is about 30 meters. Once you get outside of the wall, the drop is 30 meters, um, but it's pretty amazing. The absolute diversity of the marine life is crazy. Matt did much better than I did. He managed to stay out there much longer and it's a bonus that he can actually swim, but he's actually gone to get some beers now. We're gonna sit on the balcony and have some beers before we need to get ready for our trip this evening. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Are you uh, are you recovered after your float? Slightly. I said it was really, really, really rough, and I said that you did much better than me. But how deep was it? Thirty meters the drop. After the coral was a thirty meter drop. It's honestly madness. The difference in color of the sea, like it's super, super blue here, and the drop. It's like the deep dark blue. But I, sea. I think you would have been all right. I mm. think you could have been fine because you don't need to be a strong swimmer 
You just float along because it's so strong it takes you along. Yeah, that's true. Not for me. Beers drunk. Quick change of clothes and we are back out heading to our excursion, very, very excited. We thought we'd try something a little bit different today and that is traditional Maldivian fishing with a traditional Maldivian hand line on a traditional Maldivian boat. That was a lot of traditionals, but I thought it was something a little bit different, not the uh, typical sort of excursion people would do in the Maldives, so we thought we'd change it up. This is so cool, look at this, the traditional Maldivian boat. I haven't found out the name yet, but I will. But they look really, they look different. They look different to any other boat that we've had. Um, around the world. Abroad, around the world. They look so cool. They're really wide as well. And it's just us two on this massive boat. Room number 304, right? Yep. Yeah. Can I have a sign, please? Of course. Yeah. Boat is ready for us. We found out the name. It is called Dinaru. That is what we are getting on. Look at this. I'm so excited. I'm getting on. Ooh. Thank This boat is so cool. Completely made of wood the whole way around. Um, and we've just traveled out about 15 minutes from our island. You can still see it in the distance there. The sun is starting to set behind me. Whoa, it's really wobbly. And we're gonna have a go at fishing here. I think we've come to a point where it drops off a little bit. With the handheld line, I don't know how we're gonna do this. So my line is ready. Is there stuff on the end of it? Oh, it's already in. Fish bait. It's in, the fish bait's in it. You got a bite? I think so, there's something on the end of it. You need to pull it in. <laughs> How much no way have you caught one. Let me no see. way. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Oh. Oh. You told me I had a fish. <laughs> Is it really that heavy? Because I thought I've had a fish this whole time. I think it might just be the hook with the meat on the end. And this is the bait that we use, which is basically fish guts, chopped up small. And Molly keeps pretending that she's catching fish. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Basically you've got to fill the line for the bite, but it's not easy to reel in it. It's not like having a rod and reel. You've got to pull this back up. I think you have to be quiet when you're trying to catch a fish and I'm not doing very well at that. We have to turn the engine off and I did have a bite, but I got too excited and I think I've scared the fish away. Matt thinks he's some kind of professional over there. Look! <laughs> you can feel the tension, but then it it's whether you hook it, it's so hard to hook on. <laughs> oh my god, have you got one? I think so, this line is heavy. You can feel it? Yeah. No chuck, way. Chuck, yeah. Chuck, chuck. Huh? Oh, it's okay. a shark, Molly. It's slipping. Slipping. <laughs> I'm not having this, you've caught one. <laughs> this ain't there, Matt, look. You can see it. No ah! way. Ah! No oh way. God. But that's not good fish. <laughs> Why? You're not eating that fish. Oh, but look how cute he is. You've caught one. Oh my god. Hold on, man. Can you believe that? Oh my god! You need to release it now though, so for eating. I do, yes. We'll release it So is this, is this one poisonous, this fish, or? Yeah. We are not eating it. So that's not good for you to eat? Yeah. What fish is it? I don't know It's just not a good one to eat. It's very pretty. What, else, what bit can't you touch? Hold on, you've caught one. I know, can High you five. believe it? I've got fish, fishy hands. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> We're very grumpy fishermen today. I've done a lot of uh, casting and reeling in and not a lot of catching. It is hard, it is really hard. You know, I'm just a professional. It's all right when someone hooks it for you, isn't it? <laughs> 
always makes it that little bit easier when someone hooks a fish. Don't lie. Almost catches it, it and then at the last minute goes, oh, there you go. Excuse me, I had to reel it in quite a bit, actually. I'm sure you and it do. was a heavy fish. I'm sure it was. Jealousy isn't a good sign. There we go, empty hook yet again. <laughs> we think we have a fish. I think. What's the species of this fish? It's reps. No, it is jack. jackfish. Jackfish. Wow, wow, look at that! There you go. Wow, we are on fire. That is two fish caught. Technically, it was my line that caught the fish. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to say that it was me that have, has caught both, Matt just pulled it in. But we can actually eat that one. You couldn't eat the first one, but you can eat the second, so that is a success. We have just got back, we've done a quick change. Can you believe I was the first person to catch a fish? I cannot believe it myself. Matt caught the second and that was it, that's all we got was two fish. One but each is better, it's they, better than nothing. It's better than nothing and they did say that at some periods they get none for like 10 days straight, so I am extremely grateful. It was such a good trip, such a different trip. It's not what you think of in the Maldives, but we have come for dinner and they have set up a oh, dine wow. under the stars. That's why we've gone a little bit smarter <laughs> than usual. Bit. This is called the lover's deck, as you can see, there's a beautiful red heart there. This is too much. Look at it, it is absolutely incredible. What have we got already? So, we have got a paneer curry, which is amazing. We have chana masala, which we actually had in India, and we have plain naan bread. So what they've done is they've brought us out some of their Indian dishes that they do here, and it smells so good. I've got to start with this paneer. It looks so good. I don't even think it would matter what food you have got when you're in a location like this. This is unbelievable. If you're coming for a honeymoon or something like that, wow. The wind is blowing my direction mm -hmm. as well so I can smell the curry. Oh, fresh naan, straight around the paneer. Oh my God. I'm not sure what type of paneer it is. They said it was a curried paneer, but I'm not too Could sure. Could be anything it really. It so good. Oh my God. It's not too spicy. It's, um, hold on. You've always got to wait when you say something spicy. <laughs> it's not. That's really good, you'll love that. It's Chana my turn. Masala. <gasps> Chana masala. It's my turn to get right stuck in. I am so excited. So this one looks a lot creamier. Here comes the naan. <laughs> Thank you. Can I pass you that one back? So let's get a plain naan and some chana masala. Again, one of our favourite dishes, I think, isn't it? Mmm. Oh my god. It tastes just like when we had it in India. Oh my God, unreal. Did we have it in Old Delhi? We had it in Old or Delhi. similar? Very similar, yeah. I think we had Chole Bature, mm -hmm. but we did have a Chana, Chana Chat. We had Chana Chat. This is Chana Masala, so it's got a slightly, a bit more of a kick. Oh, so good. You can't beat good, fresh, home-cooked food. And what makes it better this is location. being in the ocean. Cheers. Oh, cheers. I was gonna cheers you with my, my naan. It's always beer, not cheers. champagne with us, isn't it? Yeah, beer's much better. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so good. But they've brought us out, I think. Is it lemon water? I think it's just lemon water to wash my hands. I've never done it like this before. Do I just like. Dip your hands? Dip your hands. What do I do? Like squeeze a little bit of lemon on my hand? No, that's just for flavour. Okay, so dip my hands. And I don't then know why I'm it. showing drying hands. <laughs> it's like, like some really hard tasks, but the food was absolutely incredible. The location, like I say, is what makes it. It doesn't matter what you eat here, but the food was extra special as well. The actual chickpea, very, very spicy. I think I'm gonna need a few beers after this.